Hello and welcome to Kanban Board Template. This tool basically divides your tasks under the boards you determine, analyzes your data and give a clear output of your work. It is constructed by four sections. These are Kanban, Dashboard, Database and Settings. So let's start with Settings. In this section determine your work stages your team members, your boards, priority and overview format settings which you will display on the dashboard. So let's input some examples. Let's say we have an additional status, we have a second quick Q&A, we have Once you determine and input your data, you may proceed to the database. On this section, input your tasks, their properties and optionally choose which board it belongs to. The more data you input in the database, the more analysis you will get on the dashboard section. You can select the board section, responsible person, priority, and status from these drop-down lists which you adjusted in the settings part. So let's input an example. Once you're done with this job you can choose the status and let's say you choose done and you may make this 100% since the job is done. If you'll need more spaces you may press on the plus sign to get additional rows. Once you're done in the database you may check your Kanban sheet to display each task in correct position. Initially, choose your Kanban first from here. If you don't have any board, you may choose all from the list. Or you may choose the Kanban board to filter the results. You will see filters right across the Kanban board. You may set them to display the filter results you're looking for. You can also multi-select the filters by either pressing on the control button and choose or you can press the multi-document button which you can find in here and then choose your filters according to that. Colors will vary according to the priority you choose. If you added more status on the settings part, you may click on here to create a new status. Once you create, the tasks which are included in that status will appear automatically. So let's say the previous example is not done and it's Q&A2. So let's say this is also 8% since it is not done. Now we're able to see that new status. If the tasks are overdue, you will get an overdue note right on the task part and the text will be written in bold. And finally, on the dashboard section, you may see the analysis of your data. Before you start your analysis, do not forget to press on the refresh button. You can set your filters in the same way you did on the Kanban section. Once you're done, hit the refresh button and make the analysis of your work if you have any changes in the database. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to check 
our other templates at www.someka.net. <laughs>